Goals are um, something to something to uh, something to think about, right? Always. You don't just um, you don't just hope and pray for something. You gotta have a uh, you gotta have a goal for something. But a goal isn't a goal if you're not creeped out by it. All right. Goals should be scary enough for you to get motivated to achieve them. All right. They have to be. Um, they have to be outrageous, okay, in order for it. In order for them to be creepy, okay. If a goal doesn't creep you out, you are not going to achieve it. Right? This is the problem with um, uh, writing down goals that that are somewhat well easy to accomplish, um, that are um, reachable, attainable. You tend to get lazy. You tend to get complacent. You tend to relax, right? If the goal is too easy, well, then call your success mediocre. Okay? If you only go for goals that are easy to achieve, call yourself mediocre. Again, if a goal does not creep you out, Success is mediocre. So, Twitter, always remember, <clears throat> a goal should creep you out. I just went through um, this um, comment I had on my last Instagram post where uh, I was just I was just promoting one of those affiliate programs I uh, I joined. And um, this guy left a comment saying, Have you got paid already? Let me know. Sorry to that effect, but I'm going to leave a link to I'm going to leave a link to that exact post of mine in the description. Alright? So I responded with a uh, with a laugh emoji. Right? Because <clears throat> I've been hearing or seeing that kind of an excuse not to uh, not not to make money right they want to let they want to uh what you call this they want to see others first make money before them right they haven't gotten the idea that well if not totally clueless right they haven't gotten the idea that if they're the first to make money then you're probably too late all right I'll repeat that. If they're the first to make money, then you're probably too late. So, are you just going to uh, are you just going to stand there and watch those uh, those people, much less people like me, uh, make money first? By the time you join, it's over and done with. You may never earn it, right? But that's not my point. My point is, the reason why I gave him that, uh, that, that smile emoji is because, well, I don't have to hear or see that kind of an excuse again, right? I have been busy cleaning my, okay, taking out the earwax right here because of my own excuses, okay? I have been doing that ever since I've been trying to build my brand, Two years ago right I am too busy taking out my own weird earwax of those of my own excuses so um, listening or or even seeing those kinds of excuses online or offline nope I ain't having that okay I am too busy cleaning out my um, Taking out my own excuses, taking out 
the earwax that was that my excuses produced all right listening um to or seeing other people's excuses is always not worth the earwax I just came all, uh, came across a uh, what you call another video by Roberto Blake over at YouTube, and well, what he said there, um, what he said there was uh, was quite uh, true. You people only see us influencers on the outside, okay? Uh, all the all the glamour, <clears throat> all the. Uh, all the like this or we show we show we show skin uh, we speak our minds like me all right we uh, what you call this we we just show our faces okay you know if you only knew if you people only knew the grind behind that you would probably well You would probably turn away and walk your merry way, right? Because well, amin man natin o hindi, ayon na ayon yung makakita ng paghihirap. All you wanna see is uh, well, smiles, uh, muscle flexing, uh, poses, sexy poses, or. Uh, uh, what you call this or even opinions that would match your own match your own mindset behind all of the all of the glamour the glitz uh, behind behind these faces that we show you lies the grind okay the grind we put through every day every minute of the day just to uh, put those posts out right now as a viewer if i see another influencer i don't judge i just appreciate the grind behind that because it's uh, a, a lot easier right it is a lot easier to appreciate not just uh, not just the influencer in question but the platform you're on all right whether it be uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, even Twitch, okay, even uh, even Reddit, all right. Um, weird as it may seem, if you appreciate, if you would, uh, no, not just appreciate, not not appreciate right away. Sorry, if you would uh, explore the grind behind every every post first. You would probably appreciate that influencer even more. So LinkedIn, the next time, okay, the very next time you attempt to judge a post, learn to appreciate the grind behind it first. And to those influencers, well, and to influencers like me, okay, people who are using social media to promote their brands or businesses, don't just post. Don't just post like crazy. Okay? Put some grind into it. Okay? Grind to attract the glamour. Before I, uh, before I brush my teeth and call it a day, I'd like to uh, get this out of my chest and tell everybody on LinkedIn that, well, even here fake gurus abound i got a connection request from one of them right i'm going to mention his initials r s c right so r s c dms me right after i accepted his uh, connection request his first dm was uh, would you like to uh, see my see my business opportunity that is worth no other going all this BS, all right, that is uh, that is obviously spammy and salesy, all right. 
I just accepted a connection request from you and here you are uh, DMing me about your fucking business. And you call yourself a network marketing guru. <laughs> you call yourself a network marketing expert. All right. Whereas you don't know exactly what ethical practices are. You don't know exactly the ethical practices involved in network marketing. All right. So I gave him, uh, I already gave him a fair warning, but he sent me another DM about his business. And I said, well, it's still spamming. Fair warning. So before I could actually um, screenshot his message, he blocked me. Right? Siya na nga may kasalanan. Siya pang matigas ang mukhang... Siya pang may tigas na mukhang i-block ako sa LinkedIn. Right? There are a lot of fake gurus uh, on the net. Right? I just encountered one of them. Here, uh, of all places, here in LinkedIn. Okay? Facebook, there are, there are tons of them. Right? There are tons of them on Facebook, but on LinkedIn? All right? So, the next time, uh, well, I better, I better warn you, LinkedIn, but I'll just warn you. If you accept a connection request and uh, that person, you just uh, approve the request, approve, which, you're, which you approve the request, Immediately sends out a DM stating that how, um, what, uh, what his business is, is actually, and or is actually, or he or she is actually offering you something, selling you something. Drop the connection right away. Okay. Sever that connection right away because well, all you're going to learn from these fake gurus is how to make a profit. Period. No ethics, no um, no relationship building first, no um, definite goal setting, just making money. Right? Money isn't everything, right? But it does buy you anything. Hold it. If you abuse this message, well, you got nothing but spamming and salesiness in your brain, right? So that's my experience with that uh, with that fake guru. So LinkedIn, heed this lesson. What's up, Instagram? Good morning. Well, I just like to um, share with you my experience with LinkedIn. It now has well, like Instagram, it now has stories. All right. Good morning, LinkedIn. This is JG. I'm currently waiting for my order from Food Panda right now, and I'm also listening to one of uh, uh, to one of my favorite streamers on Twitch. Habang So it's wonderful. Okay, it's it's a wonderful experience. Now, <clears throat> what does this mean to Instagram? LinkedIn just gave Instagram a run for its money with stories. Okay, but you know, we all know that Instagram is owned by Facebook. Okay, Facebook now has its own stories, but comparing Facebook to LinkedIn stories, LinkedIn stories are much easier to use, and the um, the community there is very professional. Okay, unlike in Facebook, right? You want to get trashy, go back to Facebook, right? But if you want to project a professional image, go on LinkedIn, right? But hey. Um, if you're looking for a job, I don't think uh, I don't think you want to uh, stay on Facebook. You better be on LinkedIn because, well, of course, LinkedIn has stories now, so uh, it has a more professional way of uh, delivering your uh, IRL content to 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 everyone, especially your future employers or uh, future mentors okay even in professional may professional looking on social media account right linkedin does that and now they got stories right 
sky's the limit now for LinkedIn. So again, Instagram, LinkedIn is now giving you a run for your money. I just saw this, um, pro actually this morning, a uh, video from Valuetainment. They were um, talking about how how a uh, streaming app called Q, uh, Quibi, okay. uh, Quibi actually shut down six months after it went live. Okay. Uh, they got a lot of uh, celebrities promoting it. Uh, the usual old-fashioned marketing. Okay. The usual old-fashioned marketing. Uh, I'm going to explain later why. Okay. Why, why did I mention that? All right. Then, yeah, again, six months later, they're gone. All right. It was co-founded by Jeffrey Katzenberg. Okay. We all know who Jeffrey Katzenberg is. Okay. I said in one of the comments that I see only one thing that uh, I see only one thing that uh, that did Quibi in. The one thing that uh, that did Quibi in was lack of trust. All right. Based on based on the value ta the value team video here on Instagram um, they weren't listening to um, customer customer responses they didn't get um, they didn't answer or they did not um, subject themselves to the trends right now in getting endorsers which are influencers all right they did not use it influencer marketing so to, uh, to put to simply put, to simply put it, uh, getting uh, getting major influencers like Charlie D'Amelio, like uh, like Mr. Beast. Oh, all right, it's probably uh, uh, Mr. Beast, uh, Joe Rogan, who just who just signed a multi-million dollar contract with Spotify. You gotta get that guy, right? PewDiePie, um, or any any major influencer out there, they did not get a single one to promote Quibi, all right? And probably the one that, um, probably the one that humiliated them was the Super Bowl ad, okay? When, when spectators saw that ad, they thought it was a, it was a, a new food, a new food service delivery app, all right? That, that in itself is a fail. It's a mega fail. If you, Peel all the onion skins, so to speak. It all boiled down. It all boiled down to lack of trust. They don't. Quibi did not trust its customers. Quibi did not trust influencers. Okay, it did not trust influencers, and well, lack of trust in customers. That was that would that would that would be the more specific. Um, uh, fault they did okay. why didn't you listen to your customers why didn't you listen to them and all of a sudden and all of a sudden you just you just shut your up shut down your operations when you're not making a buck or you're not making when you're making a profit they should have listened to customers more all right and of course, listen to what's what's trending in terms of marketing. Influencer marketing is the thing these days. They did not do it. Instead, they allotted one point something billion dollars for celebrity endorsers. Where they are? Where are they now? Yeah. They can't be found on the Google Play Store anymore. You can't download their app. All right. And I heard from the value payment video that uh, their algorithm doesn't allow screenshots. How can your customers share share the effectiveness of your app without the, without sharing any screenshots? All right, screenshots are also evidence of. Um, uh, evidence of poor customer service. I should know. Okay, I've used screenshots before to um, to state uh, to state my case in something. Right? What can I say? 
lack of trust Instagram is what did Quibi in. Let me repeat that Instagram. Lack of trust is what did Quibi in. I just posted a, um, a public post here on TikTok that about what well, that shows my dog reacting to a um, puppy sound. It's the first time he's done, it's the first time that he's reacted to some uh, to a dog sound on TikTok. Okay, so not um, uh, I'm happy for him. All right, I'm happy for I'm happy for uh, for for Jacques. Okay. The name, he's the name of our dog. I, I call him Poging Bait. Okay? Uh, handsome, uh, handsome, good guy in Filipino. A few mom, a few minutes ago, I was already um, my brain was already racked uh, from from ideas. Okay, I was out of ideas a few minutes ago. Then, poof! I suddenly reminded. I suddenly remembered that um, hmm, my dog hasn't. My dog hasn't been featured on TikTok in a while, <laughs> so I went to uh, I went to do that video, and um, well, you just got to um, put out whatever content you um, uh, uh, you you need to put out. Okay, even if you run out of ideas, if you got a pet, right? If you got a pet. Show the world how show the world how great your pet is. All right, it's wonderful content. It's value content. Why? Because well, if people uh, if people see that you got a pet, means hmm, you're you're a good or you're a good and responsible person. Because well, you got this uh, you got an anim you're you're taking care of an animal here. All right, buhay din yan. Aside from taking care of your own, of course, you decided to be a um, you decided to be a fur parent to to this dog or cat, okay, or any, or, any, or any pet you would think of, okay. When you run out of ideas, here's my tip, LinkedIn. Uh, here's my tip, TikTok. Make your pet famous, especially here. Thank you.